So I'm starting off with this energy read, and I'm using the uh, tea leaf oracle for that. And the first card is the scales, so keep your life in balance. You might be dealing with legal issues over here without scales, uh, but make sure that you're balancing your social as well as your work life. You've got the uh, finger coming up over here, so this is warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So my, there might be some issues that you're going to have to deal with, um, and there's great worry over nothing, um, so you might be very stressed out about it already. Uh, so there's some kind of issue that you have to deal with. Make sure you're getting balanced. Uh, you know, don't get overly anxious about things. Uh, you know, it might be that you need to just go with the flow and see what happens before you start uh, worrying about things. But there is some kind of issue that or challenge that you're going to have to deal with. You've got the casket card over here. So somebody going out of your life or the end of a situation. So it seems like things have transformed and you have ended old situations. And it might have been with a younger man. So dealings or relationships with a younger man. So you might have ended a relationship recently and maybe it's a legal ending that's why the scales have appeared now going into the future there is the door card so opportunities are waiting for you so new doors will open after this event and the chain says a chain of events that will affect your life so things are moving on this this chain of events generally says go with the flow and see what happens before you start uh, you know, deal with things one at a time. Take it easy, uh, but there's new opportunities coming your way there. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the uh, secret tarot for the main read. bottom of the deck you've got the three of swords so there was a breakdown of a relationship that you went through uh, you know it looks like you're very confused within this particular situation you really didn't know what to do and it seems like that uh, relationship has ended uh, completely you've got the death card immediately there so there was a complete ending uh, you've had to cut that person out of your life you're now looking at different options uh, and this is stressing you out quite a bit you're feeling very vulnerable and there's a complete breakdown of communication a, a lot of heartbreak that has come out from this particular situation it could have been an air sign person that you were dealing it with because of that three of swords uh, but you're now trying to find your feet again now you've got the eight of swords uh, eight of cups over here so you have walked away from that situation it seems like it wasn't serving you a lot of confusion a lot of depression that has going through you've got the king of cups you might be getting some support from somebody or you might be getting some kind of counseling uh, that is coming in over there with that king of cups so healing coming in for you but somebody offering you some good advice on how to deal with this particular situation you could have walked away from a, a water sign person with, a, with that king of cups um, you know that could well be the case but it looks like it's more an older person and it looks like it's more an established person um, so that could be you know in the form of medical advice or even counseling that's come in or even somebody that is a father figure that you're relying on for that help and support and advice you've got the knave of pentacles it seems like you started off uh, you know something brand new in the past uh, with as far as the work front goes and you've been focusing a lot on this so you've started again uh, because the knave is uh, the page of pentacles so starting something fresh and uh, working from bottom up really so you've been focusing on that coin focusing on your work you got the ten of wands you've been carrying a lot of responsibilities and burdens so maybe you have had to be the one that has taken over responsibilities so if this is a divorce then you're the one that is now very independent but you're carrying a lot of financial burdens and financial responsibilities I and mean, since it's sitting next to that knave of pentacles it seems like you are having a lot of problems with it uh, because the knave of pentacles is not an established um, is not established in finances just yet so you are struggling quite a bit as far as that money goes and you are juggling a lot of finances as well so you're having problems with finances uh, you know maybe worrying about how you're going to pay the next bill so it looks like there is some issues going on as far as finances goes now going to the future you've got the sun card over here so whatever this job is that you're doing it's going to take a lot of hard work there's a lot of networking there might be some travel that's involved in this particular job but you're definitely going to be working long late hours with this particular card the sun card it will reap, reap its rewards 
but you will have to put in a lot of focus and a lot of energy into this work you are making a clean break from the past so this is the ace of swords you've been through a lot of challenges but you are cutting that uh, situation out of your life or you're cutting that person out of the life your life and you're starting something fresh there uh, with that ace of swords so it looks like there was a legal ending so this could have well been a divorce and you are making a fresh start um, you've been through a lot of problems over there with that six of wands but there's victory for you over there so you are overcoming all your obstacles and problems so even though you have going through some financial difficulties at the moment it looks like you will be able to overcome that so in your hopes and fears, um, you know, you've got the six of pentacles over here. So it looks like whatever financial problems you are going through, it looks like you want to ask uh, somebody for some financial assistance uh, with the six of pentacles. You're hoping to get some money coming in over there. So going to the future, the final outcome, you've got the chariot, the nine of swords and the empress. So with the chariot card, it's about moving home. You might, be want, you might want to relocate and start afresh somewhere else. Maybe you're thinking of buying a new home and moving on uh, by yourself, really. Uh, this is about taking your own personal control of that situation. You're dealing with a lot of difficulties. You can see these lions facing each other. So uh, a lot of uh, drama still going on around you, a lot of problems. And it looks like you want to take control and move off and buy yourself a new home and start afresh somewhere else. Um, you've got the Nine of Swords, so you're not sleeping very well. A lot of anxiety is still going on over there. And you're sitting up and contemplating what you should do next. Uh, things are going to work out, but you need to turn your back on that past completely and look to the future. The Empress card is the card of Venus, so this is about getting that financial security and stability. And it will come in because it is ruled by Venus, and that rules Taurus, and that rules personal money. So, you know, you're just, even, uh, you know, Venus rules um, Libra, so the justice... Uh, issues will get sorted in your favor uh, and it looks like you will be able to make plans for the future so financially you will come out of the situation there will be success it's about living that life of luxury that money will come in that you know if you're expecting money to come in it looks like it will come in but you are going to be making a clean break there is that card of the six of wands being um, you know celebrating uh, a positive outcome over there these two cards fell out of this deck um, so let's see, I'll just draw one more card. And this is the animal tarot for the oracle read. So the five of winter still butting heads with somebody, still having a problem with them, and maybe still dealing with legal issues with somebody there. So your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome, so why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to any hidden agendas. So you're still having legal problems with somebody, and you're still fighting court cases or going through some kind of legal battle over there. Um, and... Um, it looks like you know, you're at a stalemate situation almost over there. So still going through a lot of challenges and conflict maybe. But it looks like you're going to come out on top because you've got the nine of summer over here. So now is the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just have gratitude uh, for all that is and all that is yet to come. So uh, things are going to work out in your favor with that uh, nine of summer. Uh, so, you know, you're coming on top. Uh, you've got the wish fulfillment lamp over there. So whatever you're wishing for and hoping for is going to come. And you've got the sun as the final card. And this is a, a really good outcome. Your plans will work out and bring you happiness, prosperity, and success. You garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So whatever work you're doing is going to establish you and it's going to get you recognition, success, and fame. You've got the sun appearing here twice. So, you know, although it's you're going through a very difficult financial period right now and a lot of difficulties as, uh, because it seems like you've given up a relationship, it looks like all of it will end up being successful because the final card is the sun. And going to the future, it's victory and the sun there with that six of wands. So try not to be too anxious. You're also ending with that empress. So, you know, you're going to um, establish your own security and establish, um, you know, your own... Um, you're going to uh, be able to be independent of everybody else um, and have enough money to be able to sort through life, really. Uh, so although you're very worried about finances right now, it looks like things are starting to go in your direction, and you just need to have a little bit more confidence, take control of that situation, and not be negative. So I hope this reading has resonated with you, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.